Ready for a chilling exploration into the minds of two master manipulators? Brace yourself for a journey into the dark and strategic worlds where words and actions influence the masses. I am your host Rengoku, and in today's video, we'll delve into the unsettling parallels between Johann Liebert from Monster and Ben Shapiro, examining how both figures, portrayed as villains in their respective narratives, wield their intellect and rhetoric to sway and control their audiences. Strap in, because this is going to be a provocative look at the power of influence and the ethical boundaries it crosses. Ten, manipulation and mastery. Both Ben Shapiro and Johann Liebert from Monster exhibit a profound mastery in manipulation, steering conversations and situations to their advantage with unsettling precision. In Monster, Johann manipulates nearly everyone around him, orchestrating events that lead to chaos and destruction without a hint of remorse. Similarly, Shapiro often steers political discussions in a way that can distort facts, promoting his ideologies at the expense of a balanced discourse. Both figures, whether in fictional or real contexts, leave a trail of confusion and ideological turmoil, often prioritizing their agendas over the collective good. Ben Shapiro and Johan from Monster also share a chilling calmness in the face of controversies and debates. Johan's eerie composure even when committing heinous acts mirrors Shapiro's demeanor during heated debates, where he remains unnervingly collected, often using his calm to undermine his opponents. This ability to remain unflustered is wielded by both figures as a tool to dominate and manipulate others, crafting a facade of rationality over a foundation of stark, cold calculation. The ethical implications of their actions and rhetoric, deeply rooted in their personal philosophies, make for a compelling yet disturbing parallel, highlighting the darker sides of influence and control. Number 9. Charismatic Persuasion both Johann Liebert from Monster and Ben Shapiro use charisma as a powerful means of persuasion, guiding people almost effortlessly towards their visions. Johann's unsettling charm allows him to manipulate those around him, drawing them into his twisted games without them even realizing the extent of his influence. This manipulative technique is mirrored in Shapiro's ability to captivate his audience with fast-paced rhetoric that often leaves little room for counter-argument. Their charisma, however, veils an underlying manipulation, where truth and ethics are often compromised for personal agendas. Johan and Shapiro's persuasive methods, while effective, highlight a dark side of charisma where the ends justify the means. This approach results in ethical dilemmas and manipulation, portraying a scenario where personal convictions overshadow the collective good. Their charismatic leadership, while undeniably powerful, ultimately serves their self-centered goals leaving ethical considerations as mere afterthoughts. 8. Emotional Detachment The emotional detachment exhibited by Johann Liebert in Monster finds a peculiar echo in Ben Shapiro's public demeanor. Johann's ability to remain unaffected by the chaos he orchestrates is chilling, reflecting a deep psychological detachment that allows him to manipulate life-and-death situations as if they were mere chess moves. Similarly, Shapiro often approaches emotionally charged political debates with a clinical detachment that, while keeping discussions fact-based, sometimes strips them of necessary human empathy. This kind of detachment, whether in a fictional narrative or real-life political discourse, raises concerns about the impact of such behavior. For both Johan and Shapiro, the ability to disconnect emotionally from the situation at hand allows them to maintain control and push their agendas but at what cost? The absence of empathy can lead to decisions and actions that prioritize ideology over genuine human connection and understanding. Number 7. Visionary yet divisive. Johann Liebert's grandiose vision of a perfect society and monster is paralleled by Ben Shapiro's clear-cut conservative ideologies that aim to reshape societal views according to his perspectives. Johann's vision involves orchestrating complex plots that often result in harm to others, driven by a belief in the necessity of his actions for a greater good. Shapiro, on his part, advocates vigorously for policies and societal changes that are deeply divisive, believing strongly in their ultimate benefit despite considerable opposition. Both figures in their respective realms 
embody a certain visionary zeal that is both compelling and controversial. They attract followers and dissenters in equal measure, their polarizing visions fostering intense loyalty and significant backlash. The consequences of their actions and ideas reverberate far beyond their immediate spheres, challenging audiences and societies to reassess the balance between visionary leadership and ethical responsibility. The per six, ruthless rationality. Johann Liebert's cold, calculating nature in Monster Mirrors. Ben Shapiro's approach to debate and discourse. Johann uses his intellect to manipulate and outsmart others, often leaving emotional wreckage in his wake. Similarly, Shapiro's debates are marked by a ruthless application of logic and facts, which, while effective in argument, often disregard the emotional or personal impact of his words. Both figures show a preference for strategic over-empathetic engagement, using their intellect to dominate rather than to understand or reconcile. This rationality, devoid of compassion, allows both Johan and Shapiro to achieve their ends, but it alienates them from those who seek a more humane approach to interaction. The effectiveness of their methods in achieving their goals cannot be denied, but the cost is a deeper societal division and a lack of genuine dialogue about critical issues. Number 5. Masterful Storytellers In Monster, Johann Liebert's ability to weave complex narratives is unmatched, manipulating the lives of those around him as if they were characters in his own story. Ben Shapiro shares this knack for storytelling, albeit in a different arena, using narrative techniques to frame political debates in ways that align with his ideological views. Both are adept at crafting stories that resonate with their audiences pulling on threads of fear, uncertainty, and doubt to steer opinions and actions. Their storytelling, however, often blurs the lines between fact and fiction, reality, and narrative manipulation. This approach serves their purposes well, but at the expense of a shared objective reality, contributing to a fragmented perception of truth in public discourse and personal relationships. Number 4. Impact and Influence Johan from Monster and Ben Shapiro are figures whose influence extends far beyond their immediate presence, affecting wide swathes of people and communities. Johan's manipulations lead to life-altering consequences for many, embedding himself in the psyche of his victims and bystanders alike. Shapiro's influence through media and public speaking similarly shapes the political landscape, swaying public opinion and policy discussions on a large scale. Both wield power that is both formidable and controversial marking them as significant but divisive figures in their fields. While their impact is undeniable, the nature of their influence often prompts a critical examination of the ethical implications of their actions. They both create waves that ripple outwards, for better or worse, forcing a dialogue on the power and responsibility of influential figures in shaping societal norms and values. 3. Intellectual Isolation Johann Liebert from Monster and Ben Shapiro despite their intellectual prowess, often find themselves in positions of isolation due to their views and methods. Johann's sinister intellect and grand schemes isolate him, as he views others merely as tools or obstacles in his path. Shapiro, known for his controversial and uncompromising stands, similarly experiences intellectual isolation from those who disagree with his rigid viewpoints. This isolation is not just social but ideological, creating a chasm between them and those who seek more collaborative or nuanced approaches. The consequence of their intellectual isolation is a lack of meaningful exchanges that could lead to growth or change, reinforcing their own beliefs while distancing others. This isolation not only impacts their relationships, but also limits their ability to engage with and understand different perspectives, potentially stunting their effectiveness in more diverse environments. 2. Legacy of Controversy both Johann Liebert and Ben Shapiro leave behind a legacy marked by controversy. Johann's actions throughout Monster lead to profound questions about morality, human nature, and the impact of nurture versus nature. Similarly, Shapiro's career is characterized by debates that often incite significant public discourse and dissent. Both figures are catalysts for controversy, their actions and words sparking discussions that resonate within their respective narratives and real-world audiences. The legacies of Johan and Shapiro are intertwined with societal reactions to their ideologies and actions. While they provoke thought and debate, they also polarize and sometimes alienate, highlighting the complex interplay between influential figures 
and the societies they seek to mold. Number one, uncompromising visionaries. At the top of this list, both Johann Liebert and Ben Shapiro stand out as uncompromising visionaries. Johann's vision of a new world order in Monster is executed with a chilling precision, devoid of any moral compromise. Similarly, Shapiro pursues his vision of political and social order with a dogmatic fervor that seldom allows for flexibility. Their visions, while clear and powerfully articulated, often clash with ethical standards and societal norms, challenging the boundaries of acceptable discourse and action. These uncompromising stances, while making them prominent figures in their realms, also lead to significant backlash and resistance. Their influence is undeniable, but so is the controversy that surrounds their methods and the outcomes they achieve. Both figures exemplify the power and peril of holding to a vision without yielding, making them memorable but also contentious in their lasting impact on their worlds. As we conclude our exploration of the dark parallels between Johann Liebert and Ben Shapiro, we hope this analysis has offered you a deeper understanding of how persuasive tactics can be wielded for manipulation. Remember, the power of influence, while compelling, can cast long shadows when used without ethical considerations. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey into the minds of two controversial figures. Until next time, continue to question and critically evaluate the motives behind the messages you encounter. Farewell for now, and until we meet again, may your explorations into the complexities of character and influence be enlightening. See you next time. <laughs>